What's up guys? It's Jared and it's Austin and we're here with a Fit Friday video. Today we're going to get right into stretching. We're going to go do a series of stretches, stretching out your arms and as well as stretching out your legs and your lower back. So feel free to use these stretches anytime before you work out. It's important to be loose when you work out before you start your workout and it's important to stretch after your workout in order to cool down. So Austin, what's our first stretch that we're getting into today? So the first stretch we're gonna be doing is something called a tricep stretch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise our right hand up into the air. We're gonna stretch our left tricep first, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and grab that elbow, raise that elbow up in the air, grab it with that outstretched hand, pull that elbow back towards your ear, and then stretch for 15 seconds. All right, ready? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right. All right, now we're gonna go to the right side. We're gonna stretch that right tricep. So you're gonna raise that left hand up into the air, grab that elbow with your right hand, raise that elbow up into the air, and grab that right elbow with your left hand. Pull back towards that right ear, and then stretch for 15 seconds. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, Jared, what's our next stretch? All right, so the next one we're gonna do is called a shoulder stretch. Okay, so we're gonna be focusing on stretching the back parts of our shoulder and even into our upper back, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our right arm, we're gonna put it out straight to our side, put it out straight to our side, and then you're gonna bring it across our body like this, okay? Now we're gonna take our left arm and make a cross so that our fingertips on our left hand are pointing toward the ceiling and we're gonna make a cross like this with our arms, both of our arms. Now, we're gonna push back on our outstretched arm, and you should feel a stretch on your right shoulder and even back into your upper back on your right side, okay? So pull that right arm in. So you're gonna pull that right arm in with your left arm, and we'll hold this for 15 seconds. Ready? One, two, two three, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Very good. All right, so now you can take your left arm and stick it out straight again, and then bring it across your body. Now you're gonna take your right arm this time, bring it out in front of that outstretched arm. Your fingertips should be pointing toward the ceiling so that you're making a cross. And then you're gonna pull that left arm back now and you should feel a stretch on your left shoulder and even into the left side of your upper back, okay? All right, so let's count to 15 here. Ready, three, two, one, one, one two, two, three, three four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15. All right, very good. Okay, what do, we got, what do we got going on next here, Austin? All right, so this one is called a standing quad stretch. Standing quad okay, stretch, Okay, so your right. quadriceps muscle is located on the front of your leg above your knee. So we're gonna do an exercise that's gonna help us stretch our quadriceps. Very good. Okay. So find something that you can use to stabilize yourself because we're gonna be balancing on one leg here, okay? So Austin and I both have a chair that we're gonna to use to stabilize ourselves. So we're gonna stand next to our chair and Austin, I'll let you take it over from here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and stretch our left quadricep first, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand next to the chair and all you're gonna do is you're gonna lift up your left foot, grab that left foot with your left hand and pull that left foot back towards your butt and you should feel a stretch on the front of your leg, just above your kneecap. Again, that's the muscle called the quadricep, okay? So try to pull it in, pull your heel kind of close to your butt there, and we'll count for 15 seconds. Ready, set, go. One, One two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 
12, 13, 14, 15. Very good. All right, so we're actually going to turn around, okay, it's because we're going to be stretching our right quadricep. So you should turn around. This time, your left hand should be on the chair or on the wall or whatever you're using to stabilize yourself. And we're going to do the exact same thing we just did, but with our right leg, okay? So you're going to raise that right leg up into the air, grab that right foot with your right hand, pull back towards your butt, and you should feel a stretch right above your knee in that quadricep muscle, okay? So we're going to count to 15. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Very good, very, very good. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, we stretch the front parts of our legs called the quadriceps. Now we're gonna stretch the back parts of our legs, which are the muscles called the hamstrings, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna do is a standing toe touch. That's what we're gonna do. So you're gonna stand with your feet together, Feet together, toes pointed forward, and your knees are gonna to wanna to be very straight, okay? Austin's gonna show you what it looks like from the front, I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the side, okay? And then from here, the only place we're gonna to try to bend is our hip, all right? So we're gonna to try to keep our back flat as we can, and we're gonna bend at our hip, and go as low as we can, and try to touch our toes. Again, you should be feeling a stretch on the back sides of your legs, right? The upper part of the back side of your legs. And those muscles are called your hamstrings. Okay. So join us here and keep those knees as straight as you can. All right. If you can't quite touch your toes, that's okay. Just go as low as you can, as, as low as you can, where you feel that stretch in your hamstrings. Okay. All right. Let's count for 15 seconds here as we're all the way down low. Ready? Three, two, one, one, one two, two, three, four, four five, six, six seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good job. All right, so now we're gonna do something called a sitting toe touch. So for this one, you're gonna to wanna to be sitting down, okay, just on the ground. Ideally, you wanna be on the ground for this one. This won't work quite so well if you're sitting in a chair. So you're gonna to wanna to be on the floor. What you're gonna do is you're gonna stick both legs right out in front of you, just like this. And just like what we did when we were standing, we're gonna keep both of these knees super, super straight, and we're just gonna lean forward as far as we can to see if we can touch those toes. All right, are we ready? Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, we've got one more stretch that we're gonna do. This one is called the butterfly stretch. Okay, so for this stretch, your feet are going to look like the wings of a butterfly. We're gonna target these hip muscles right down here, kind of above where your hamstrings are, and we're gonna get those stretched out. Especially important if you're doing any kind of running exercise. Yes. All right? Very good. So all so we're gonna do is just keep our feet just like this, and we're just going to turn our legs out to the side and we're just gonna feel that stretch down in our hips. That's really good. All yes. right. So to get to the butterfly stretch, you can start with your feet out in front of you straight. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna bring both of your feet in kind of close towards your butt so that both of the bottoms of your feet are pressing up against each other, okay? So the bottoms of your feet should be touching and then with that, you make the wings of a butterfly with your knees, okay? So we went from all the way straight, and then we just brought our feet in closer to our butt, and then put the soles of our feet together, the bottoms of our feet together, okay? So now that we're here, you can grab those feet that are in front of you, and then try to lean forward as far as you can, okay? And that's gonna give you that nice butterfly stretch. It's gonna stretch out your hip muscles like Austin was talking about. Also give you a nice low back stretch too, okay? So let's do this for 15 seconds, ready? Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 
12, 13, 14, 15. Excellent job, everybody. Good job, you guys. It's really important to stay stretching. It's important to stay loose. And like we said before, you can do these stretches before you go into a workout and after you work out. So if you're doing it before your workout, it's gonna help you get nice and warmed up and ready to prevent injury. And after, if you do it after your workout, it's gonna help your muscles cool down and prevent soreness even later after your workout. So this has been another Fit Friday. Awesome. As always, you guys, I'm Jared. And I'm Austin. And this is us saying stay fit on this Fit Friday. We'll see you next time. Until next time, so long, everybody.